is a big everybody right. start recording now the man football team feel him one additional time and the man goes to sh- everything goes. yo anyway. yo yeah yeah man say yo you see it's a football and uh, rugby league alone vibes just lone vibes yo if you if you if you only hear me cuss just know say you're cussing that's no alone vibes there's a no expectation just Go over the floor, you know. Bracha, yo, Bracha, you see when you, yo, it's, it's like when you're Gohan and you know your father is always going to die. When you know you're Gohan and the next movie coming out, it's all about you, son. Then finally showing you some love, son. Finally. Finally. I just want them to make a, a joke. You, you, you know exactly what is going to happen. Don't, don't, even, don't even bother. <laughs> Those last words. Especially this day and age, I take back those last words. <laughs> yo, yo, what? What am I trying to get this tried? I'm, I'm, I'm yo, you're, lo- you're lucky. If, you're lucky if you're, if you're in a movie and you hear the man say, "Yo, I'm struggling to turn into a super saiyan again." Nigga! <laughs> 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 oh my god, yo, yo, you see, bro? <laughs> You know, say, realize you're not like me, you know. Mr. Cena like me. You know, you just want to just... You know, all right, sorry. Let, let's, let, let's... I'm sorry. I just have to... Like you know, Dario. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, 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 Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell when you do subscribe so you get alerted whenever we upload a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Controversial Topics, where we talk about things that are controversial. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll work on it, I'll work on it, I'll work on it, I'll work on it. Do we still care in this thing? No? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Hold the little guy said, brush our fetish from a red cat already. <laughs> Not red, not red, not red. Didn't say red. I ask you, we still care. That's all I ask. You can't red card anybody until you can prove that there's no soda in your car right now. Or fridge. Yes, yeah, there's something. Yes, yes, we can get a red card. Yes or no? You're not allowed to issue yes or a call no. for. Yes or no, sir. Yes. Yes, no soda in my car. All right, come. Or fridge. Right now, but the outside side, the car me for go for first. <laughs> what is this? And and make sure there's no bottles anywhere, empty bottles young, young. or whatever. Come around, shoot, show how much, um, how much more I see I get back here, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So let's see, hand sanitizer there. You know, um, perfume. So the man recently cleaned this car, so there's no evidence. Uh, oh, wow! You are petty. You are so petty. You're a grown man. Oh, I'm a hoodie right he here. He recently so. cleaned this car, so there's no evidence uh, of the soda he was supposed to be drinking today. You're the one ball. You're the man ball. You poor thing. Anywho, I'm not balling. I don't mind my red card. I have the lowest count. It's been a while though. I'm the second lowest count. Sir, what? sir, sir. Give yourself a cool and edit every single video you have done. You have said some very controversial oh. shit. So I would I take know. those words. Yeah, but I don't always get carded because you can't always argue with my life. I get cards for the most bullshit reasons. I don't know, can't dispute no, that. your cards are warranted most of the time. Oh, it's just, it is from a deep, dark pettiness. <laughs> so, so, so hold on. So hold on. So uh, my hold on. shit is logical and cold like a robot. So you're trying to say that none of my cars have ever been on the face of logical. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's teetering. It's as in no, hold on. No. It's not it's not logical. It's just it, the place where it came from, we can smell the dark pettiness coming from um like if, oozing off of it. If it is not so hold on, so hold on, so hold on. So I'm gonna get this straight. These people cannot get across a point when it's coming from the light side. So obviously you have to take a page out of Palpatine book and just kill off all of them. What? What? Yo! 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 Yo!
today. We're doing this today. Shaka <laughs> <laughs> too hard, Dad. Seriously, I'm going to throw all them foolishness that we are talking about. Come on, let's do what I'm saying. You see? You literally, yo. You understand, you understand what I'm just doing, right? Dude, dude, literally, fight what we just said. And then literally, literally, literally do a 360 and do exactly what we say. Seriously, <laughs> son. What is wrong with you? I don't yo, know. <laughs> yo, you're not the guy you want, yo. You want help, but then you're like, no. <laughs> like, He's too far gone. Like, you want He's too far gone. It's, it's a waste of time. <laughs> Go so far. So hard, too. Like, like, say that, <laughs> Yo. Yo, yo, he's yo, he's the dude, yo, he's the dude in the group who they had a box seat, you know. I rile up the man them in the next car, them, you know, and he might drive the car. So when the man them put the ink on, I, I you understand? He's that dude in this situation. Dude, I literally. Mean, the, I mean, bro. I mean, to be fair, considering Dario's record of road rage, I'm pretty sure I would be the one that would be running away. What? You know? I'm not gonna lie, my road rage is bad though. Hey, Bracha, if you think I am bad yet, uh, yeah, this man uh, is going to going to be road raging you intelligently, you know. No, me, you, you, Bracha, you no, have a, I go straight ghetto when I go. Bracha, I have a, oh, wait, there's a seat specially made for Bracha because I'm pretty sure his record stands above all. Somewhat. Yo, I can't be saying Bracha, if something happens to Bracha up on the road, Bracha is just going to be like this. Okay. I don't even worry about it. I don't even say it worse than me. Just saying. Yo, you, you, you think I'd be a beast, right? Well, look at it this way. People drive with guns in Florida. You have to be careful who you mouth after. You will get shot. It, it, it's, not, it's not Jamaica where a man pull a gun and him, him show off with it. No. Here, when a man pulls a gun, does, does always say. Hey, in Jamaica, uptown guys pull guns and show off. No show off. Yes, yeah, so? sir? No, sir. You see, because I don't drive with a gun, me not really, hey, pussy, what's up? Ma- no. See, you see, you see when the strap, you see when the strap is finally acquired, you see when you unlock that part in, of my life, you know, gun license acquired. Gun. Eh. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, man. When, when that is secured and, and I hip, yeah, man. Them time them I can't open more, come, yeah, me a back it if. The lethal kind. Yeah, man. That's me, that's me and my yeah. seven friend. Man. Me and, and my the, seven friend. Man. Taxi drivers and the biker, the bikers in Jamaica are a no- Yo, a biker was in the middle of my car one, one night. We're both going 80. The man steps on his brakes. I hmm. almost killed this nigga. Yes. Sorry, not this nigga. This, this, this germ. And, hmm. um... I had to hit my brake, slow down, just so he could turn, almost oh. killing him. I'm no. helping some people laugh. So I just immediately just go get ghetto. You stinking most suckled batty boy. Okay, sir. Except, except. I thought, I oh no, you beat me, sir. But don't get, don't get no, the twist. No, no, no. Listen, the, the insults that just fly out of my mouth with my road rage, it is bad. Hey, yo, like you, you have, have, have a gun, gun the thing. you have to check your self esteem before you shoot me. Oi, you have another funny, you have I'm another... not kidding. You know, so I call myself, you know, I'm somewhat stable. When you do drop them, you go, hmm, I thought about it. That's <laughs> the shoot you. That's me. me I'm like, <laughs> Shoot. That, that's me. At least, at least I thought about it. Then I showed you. I mean, that Bradshaw oh, is showing himself today. I can criticize him. I thought about it. Not bad. Good insult. Boy. <laughs> My thing is this. Bradshaw has been going to the gym, but he hasn't been dieting, which is why yeah. he's bigger, because he has more muscles underneath his fat. <sighs> I hate me. That's the part of the bloody sodas. Easier said than done, god damn it. Which part, hold on? Yo, Judge. Yo, which part? You don't understand, sir. Sugar 
is that like what four to eight times more addictive than cocaine? Did you not hear what I just said? Like eight cocaine times makes you lose weight. <laughs> touche, my nigga, touche. <laughs> touche, but still, touche. Not a good one, not a healthy one. I just stop. Not bad. <clears throat> Anyway, what, what do we have on the docket? We, 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 we haven't even started yet. We're, we're already off track. <laughs> no, uh, oh, good stuff. Well, good stuff. I mean, <clears throat> um, kind of didn't have to touch on this stuff because, I mean, I trust Bradshaw, you had read through the news article and gotten most of the information and stuff. So. Yeah, I did. So, um, with all of that said, for those of you who aren't away, I mean, you must have been under the rock for that uh, piece of news to miss you. Um, it's the Ram, I, I won't say his name because it's hard enough to you know, say, oh man, this man used to par, or we knew each other. I won't say his name, but I will say, I will say this. You see, the people in, in that community who claim they were family friends, <laughs> if hell dogs were real, I'm convinced most of you would die very brutal deaths because you claim to say that you knew that the father was very difficult and the father was pressuring blah 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 yet you all did nothing but the minute the father gets in so trick or throat slitted that's when all on the star cry I have a real problem with that Jamaica is always a country that, do, you know, if you have a country that produces so many fast people, we have the slowest set of people and when it comes to acting on these issues. And I, I say that with no, with no pun intended. I, for a speed, I guess. I mean, <clears throat> you have to call a speed a speed. You know, you know, you know, you know what I mean? My stance on, 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 on certain city, um, issues because my, my thing is, we can always talk about the, the symptoms, but if we don't aim for the main cause of the problem. It will never be solved. It will never be fixed. It will constantly take a different form, a different shape, a different argument, a different situation. And <clears throat> as soon as you open your mouth, ooh, somebody's always there waiting for jump down your throat. I, I made peace with that whole, my need to please the, the first set of people and who will come cross mentality. I give up on that because I realize at the end of the day, Someone will like you, someone will dislike you for whether you're doing right or doing wrong. That's reality. Nothing more, nothing less. So, yeah. Um, sorry, you want to continue? I want to speak a little bit. I mean, I just, mm -hmm. I mean, there's not really much else. I mean, we touched on this several times, even sparingly. And it's like it's the same thing over. It's kind of like my relationship with my two team. Them. It's like you just expect the unnecessary foolishness every single time. And you're just left there and you just say, yo, what is the point of getting upset? Because really and truly, when, when I got when I saw the news article and I saw that it was him, I'm like, oh, damn. Oh. But then oh, read through the Yeah. He actually um played one match for GC Europe with him actually. No for the man, no for the man when the man them say the news, the man them say yo, what? When me tell them, the man they say yo, what? Him? Mm. The what? Mm. Like it's that shocking, like bruh. When me say yo, this man looks completely soft. The man looks completely soft. Like you would have never expect say yo, this man could have do anything. Not at all. But then I remember say, hmm, wasn't I once like that? And then now I'm now I know I'm psychopathic. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Fair assumption. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but bruh, yo, it goes back to this um parents' mindset of how they grow their children. Like it's one thing. Wanting your son to do well and uh, your daughter to do well. What is the next thing when you keep on negatively impacting their life and you think, oh, it's okay. They gr they'll grow out of it. Kids these days will come back and kill you for what you do to them. Okay? Let's just, put, let's just be real here. 
And not even just kids these days, my generation. Yeah. They will. Look here, this is not even about pettiness. This is about entire grudges. That are about, oh, oh, you know, it's just, it's in the past. Okay. Okay. You know what else is in the you know what else is in the past? The innocent person you let die there. Yeah, that's in the past too. How old are you, doctor? Mm, twenty-four going twenty-five. Oh, so you're not a millennial. <laughs> um, I guess. Gen Z. Unfortunately. Yeah, Zenial. Interesting. Not bad. You reason well for your age. When when you when you meet people like Dario and you meet someone like Virgo and you have Rajiv and not to in your in your in your group, you tend for you tend for kind of like realize that you you can't be uh, like, yourself around these people. It's not like sure, you sure. own... <laughs> do not force your accuse me of anything. <laughs> What? Yo, so, so, all right, la ladies and gentlemen, you know, so I am literally just saying that, that I, I like having this man as my friend and, he, and he's here saying I'm accusing him. That Virgo, what have I accused the officer? When you said that you are trying to imply that because of my love of violence. Yes. At what point did I say your love of violence was detrimental to no, anybody, sir? You never said you implied it. <laughs> They implied it the moment they put me and Rajiv in the same sentence. Good one. That was a good one. Yo, you have no the funniest thing? Okay. Only difference between the two of them is the fact that your Virgo does look a bit dark, dark and them in terms of complexion. I know two man, my same thing. See? Same thing sure. oh. I'm, 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 I'm on the podcast we were talking about self-defense. And that G already is on that box side. <laughs> <laughs> Raji said, he said the box is on that box side. <laughs> but she don't need a trick. Hey, so I'm like, I, think, oh yeah, I think that was the moment all of us just looked at Raji and we were like, oh, well, right then, yo, you know, hard him over clap for him. Oh my god, a rugby strength him on a swing to another than. I'm just saying. Poor thing. Moving on. <clears throat> Virgo's Im implications aside. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I just find it, find it so amusing that a country that speaks about, like, they teach you at an early age that yo, there are people out there that have these symptoms and this and that and all that, all that good jazz. But as soon as you turn an adult, we just turn a blind eye to it. And you figure out the reason is it's just because no one cares. Simple. Uh, recently, me and a, a gentleman who I met you all heard in the, the group. Um, so we, we, we struck up a conversation in which you know, I was vocalizing and I made some very strong points about R. Kelly and, you know, everything that went down and how this and that and, you know, him. <clears throat> but tell him, say, oh, if I say, and believe me, when I made this comment, I told him, say, oh, don't jump, don't, don't bring your tar and feather and ready to come kill me because, you know, I it took me a long time. <laughs> <before. Tara> <laughs> Yo, so anything. Yo. I tell the general, say, yo. I don't believe society believe in half of the shit it said to itself. Like, for instance, everybody isn't, no, so nobody is perfect. That is one of the wickedest, self-fulfilling self lies Mankind to this very day is still indulging because we know damn well, so we don't believe them words. You know why I know we don't believe them words? Eh? Guess why we don't believe them words? The whole time, them words really apply is when we fuck up. Make somebody else fuck up. 
and see how them words are the furthest thing from your fucking mind or from your lips too. Because what? It bothers you now. I, I, and, and, I, and I gave him examples. I'm like, yo, if society really believe half the shit it said, after the first incident, yeah, the first incident, R. Kelly should have been committed to a psychiatric ward. You understand me? This is how, I remember, you know, these things were happening before, you know, before the 90s, R. Kelly had come off, uh, se I think, a uh, seven year. Forgot what uh, the, the, the prison thing. R. Kelly been doing this crap all over the country. So he, he, he rebutted and said, oh, um, I'm talking about this, R. Kelly, I'm talking about the people I'm involved. Me say, yeah, but me say, we can also say, but look on it this way. Man can't keep proof, say it's a lie. He, he believe it. Um, he told itself a lie and then he started to believe it because when his brother in the interview talks, say his sister didn't sexually molest R. Kelly and uh, him, you know, she do all manner of things, sit down in them face, you know, force them to penetrate. And then when I'm back and forth, met him, and she also was probably a victim of said molestation. You understand me? So again, I'm not blaming our either, but the point me I still try to make is say, oh, society was quick to chastise and destroy R. Kelly on a drop of a dime. And his sister, even after the brother them talk about this and that, and that, you've never heard of her name being drawn to the mud still because what? Them get them sacrificial lamb with R. Kelly because what? And I'm saying, yo, society don't believe in what it say half of the time. It really doesn't because perfect example. And then, then, then he tried to return by drawing up Bill Cosby. We say, yo, one monster at a time, shall we? Let's yeah. keep it back. Right, 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 right then, right then, and yes, I'm going to Right. Yeah, I try to draw two different. We say, no, we have to have one person first. May I try to show the hypocrisy of our society really don't believe? Them say it, but they really don't believe it. We say, because if them truly be, after the second situation, I'm going to say, Remember, you know, you might talk about all the people I'm involved with over this and that. I'm say, in between all that, R. Kelly was going to court cases across the country. Apart from, he was doing this crap all over the country. He had court cases back to back all over the country. Florida, before them sentenced him for this recent one we're going to, he was facing charges in Florida. Recently. So I'm like... <coughs> People don't realize that this can't be normal. In, in fly from Florida for fight a, um, a molestation charge and then gone back to LA for going to write music, like nothing ever does fucking happen. And people still have <laughs> on them shit there. You understand me? And people know say my God in I'm circle. No say in my face. Oh, I'm the, oh, hold on, I walk on for sound. Oh, what you want? Yeah, before bike I go on, so. What? Anyway. Yo, you know, yo, I was this, uh, man, this close. I, I'm glad seven hold about myself, cause boy. Yo. <laughs> yo, I tell you, you see, if you could just literally just sight whichever bike is on you, and it, that bike just flip over and it said, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, continue. I'm glad nobody not for saying nothing, but anyways. Um, yeah, like me I point with a lot of me I try to level set them, I try to show him, and by the time I don't talk, his point soften so much that him, him literally if he softly agree because me say, but this me I try to show you. Me say, even me say the fact that me can point these out and you realize say I am not lying because society really don't believe half of what it said. Half of what we really believe, it only applies to us. Most people believe that we are selfish creatures. Man is more, we are more alike than we than people think we are. As human beings, we are more alike. And don't make culture, don't make race true. We are more alike than we are different. You understand me? So, it wasn't just black people who got fat over COVID, yeah? Russians. Everybody who had to stay in, 
gained weight. Why? Hmm? I'm just saying. We we're, were, were locked in for like what? On the cult a month at the time, or roughly more. And people gained weight across the world. Obesity went through the roof for the year, for that one year. <clears throat> I'm just saying. And that was worldwide. I know the summer coming at you. Worldwide. Obesity <laughs> went up through the roof. Yo, so, I know, I know, yeah, I know what me, I mean, me, me talking about, yo, I, do, am I the one who finds it strange that obesity, anytime any the word obesity comes up, the first thing comes up, that's money about, oh, you're talking about America, right? <laughs> yo, that shit, that <laughs> shit, <laughs> yo. And let's that, also go over the fact that obesity is relative because, all right, the last time I went for a checkup, they weighed me and I was like, they're like, oh, Mr. Dowie, you're obese. And they put me on a different machine and the machine weighed, the, the machine gave me my, my stats was like I was like 20% fat or something like that. Yeah, that, that that's the thing. Though. Like, oh, Mr. No, you're not actually obese. You're mostly muscle. It's just fat. You just have fat over it. Yeah, most strong men actually do. They have so I'm food. like, no, the thing is that for my height and age, I'm not supposed to wait. I'm supposed to like, me too. To like a, a size, a size and, medium. And also, shirt. ladies, I know, I know this is a, is a point out there, but guess what? Strong men don't always have abs, but they still run them down, don't it? No, right. I know that. I know that funny. I tell somebody, say, oh, the guy who has that super defined abs, if I was to hit him the right place, he cripples because he has no fat. So actually, <laughs> he has actually, no um, fat. For after that, there's the, a bit of racism I'm, in it. Really? This the same scale or the same metric or paper that the lady was using, it's based on mainly slim white people. Mm. It doesn't cater to, to, to black people. It's their idea of fitness, their idea of sexiness. For, for in, I mean, for instance, <laughs> if you go by those same old metrics, once Ooh. a woman has a big butt, she's obese or she's fat. For black people, it's a totally different ball game. Latino people, different ball game. And that's by saying. So there's a bit of racism in it. Because it, it, it is based on a race, a superior like, race. It's not based on black people or just other people. Hmm. Just, so it would suit Asians and whites, I, I would suppose. Asians and whites? Essentially, yeah. Are Asians, mo well, I mean, the majority of Asians, I suppose the metric would be that most Asians are slim, I guess. Yeah, as in, they, I guess they, they would, they would, they would, uh, it would, it would work in their favor as well. All right, I guess. No. So, like, if Bradshaw was literally like 90% muscle now and just need for shit, they're going to look at him and say, oh, he's a beast for his age and height. <clears throat> Uh, I get that. I do get that. Yeah. Fair point. That's literally what they said to me. Fair point. Yeah. Okay. Oh, honestly, mm. as long as you are, hold up. I think that isn't there also a measure to see how if you're truly obese, this was can do a certain amount of laps. Certain amount of push ups, a certain yeah, that, amount of that, don't mean, that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> Fitness doesn't mean obese or not. True. Mm. Percival is overweight and Percival fit. When he was working at Spry Gym, he was overweight. Yet still, they had even a gauntlet competition. Percival came in the top five of 30 something people, and I'm talking about people with abs. Mm. People is, will come gym every day and show off and they the most arrogant pieces pieces up. Isn't the only thing that's pieces of shit. Isn't it that um, most arrogant people? Fat, though? Isn't it that yeah. he just had belly yeah, fat? Yeah, but that, as in, that's the thing because because of his looks. Many of the people who came there didn't want him to be their trainer and, and so forth. And some of the other trainers didn't respect him as a as a trainer. When they had the gauntlet and he came in the top five. Of trainers and, and, and gym goers. Wow. And they could not keep up with him. 
And a matter of fact, he didn't even get tired. He just got bored. Remember, this man is still playing rugby two to, uh, two to four times a week at the time when he was in Kingston. He was still pretty active. God damn. And he was big. AF. <laughs> so even those tests don't really mean shit. Sure, that. If you look at a lot of rugby guys, if the, you can't outrun them. I either think you can. That's the way it's look at you would look at as a, as a, as, a, as somebody who doesn't know anything about rugby or sports. You would look at those guys from yeah. the outside looking in, like, oh, this fat guy, <laughs> like he's fit. Oi, oi, if I want, if I want, if I want, to just, 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 just him on the rugby field. Rugby maker two hundred and thirty. Um, rugby maker two hundred and fifty pound man look like look like a thin man and sprint to come up that bitch. You feel me? So imagine yo. a 250-year-old man a charge a come. The, the, yo, you know the mm. funniest thing? You have to know the funniest thing? Rugby is such a great equalizer because you have bodybuilders, fitness trainers. You see, them, yo, you see when them touch the rugby field? You just want that one... Per, yo, you just want your one, one... You don't even have, have your best tackler. You could have your worst tackler. Oh, and just because the worst tackler here, the whole this person has talked so much shit. You might just feel motivated. I said, yo, coach. I don't want to kill man in a rugby. I mean, I tell you, abs can't save you. You don't know what you are doing. Abs <laughs> don't save shit. Oh, abs can't Oi. save shit. Abs can't save shit. Oi. Oh, oh. First, 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 first time no. I ever got put flat on my back. First time I ever get put flat on my back. I was like, oh, well, this is how it feels. Damn. And the only thing I see me that day was adrenaline. Brother, you said me go home. I said, God, couldn't you even move? <laughs> anyway, we're off topic. Yeah, no. We, we are, so, yo, Dario, they tell you on a shoot. Talking about mental health in Jamaica is one of the most depressing things because it's just such a shitty topic, honestly. Because really and truly, what the hell are we going to do when this shit just keeps on happening? Yo. And the worst part, if we try to do something too expensive, Hmm. One of the things is also we are not being our brother's keeper. What can not we? Not. Can we keep ourselves much less our brothers? Yo, well, people get this this thing wrong where they talk about yo, yo, they don't they need to respect people's boundaries. I I I say screw that to an extent because there was a situation with one of my friends. Her different boundaries. Her, her her mother was the kind of mother where according to um she the father is just a sperm donor. And I'm like, and me and me and me, what well, 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 I'm a brother, what I'm a brother. Explain it in detail. Me and I have a little talk and, and I asked her, I said, so if the father is a sperm donor, what the hell does that make you? You're just the receivable goods then, right? Mm. So me ask, we we'll go a bit of back and forth and me say, your treatment of your daughter makes absolutely no sense. She looks nothing like her father. Hell, the child doesn't even know what the father looks like. Hell, father could be dead for all we know. So the, when I finally meet this man, this man is one of the coolest person I ever meet. I'm tell this man, say this man have a daughter, and the man say, really? Shit, I didn't know that. And I'm like, wait, hold up, Mr. Wola, Wola, Wola. Hold on. <laughs> say, hold on. They say, how do you not know you have a picture of a child? Man said, well, I was drunk and I'm like, all right, that's all I need to know. Cool. That was all I needed to know. So apparently they had a drunken stupor. So apparently the baby was born on a drunken stupor. I said, oh, cool. And he is a sperm donor who you never even told you were pregnant, but that makes sense to you. And you take out your frustration on the child because reasons. So she just didn't want to take accountability? Yes. Long shot. Long, long and short. Pretty she much. But it gets to it gets to a point where, yo, know, <laughs> people think verbal people think verbal abuse is such a limitless thing, bro. It's one of the worst kind of abuse out here. Of course. Uh, hearing some yo, hearing somebody belittle you like every day, like you can't do anything right. Bro, that shit makes you think, say, yo, a time for us. Yo, I used to talk about, I used to say, yo, this shit, boy, yo, suicide is the cause we out. Brother, sometimes some people can't bother. No, I never, I've heard it, but I, I just never said it. 
No, I you I I you I can say I can say full heartedly I used to say it. Okay. And it took until say Maria say yo some of them. Yo, my it, thing is this. Yo, I try to understand me. people and I don't understand what they were going through. Yo, so if that solves their problem, who am I to judge? Hold on, Dario. No, hold on. Make sure you read that. Say, yo, back then, I was such a hypocrite. It take until Chester Bennington dead. Drown, him, drown himself with pills and he's in the bathtub and dead. So he comes and say, yo, I'm a fucking hypocrite, but dog. He hang himself? No, no, him. He basically oh. overdosed and drown himself in the bathtub. I know who Chester is. Yeah. One of the greatest that ever did it. R.I.P. But R.I.P. Malika. R.I.P. And you know, you know the funniest thing. One of his so-called closest friends was with not, not the bandmate. You know, like one my next brother from our band. Mm-hmm. This nigga had the audacity to say, "Yo, you took the car's way out, better man. This man have to lock him. To- hold on, uh, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. He went uh, into a whole long ass paragraph. You know." He went into a whole long ass paragraph. Yo, watch out. I'm say, yo, this man, I feel like him, like in Twitter, man, I feel like Facebook. Yeah, yeah man. man. Yo, the man, yo, the man, I feel come out and make a, yo, man, yo, the man, I feel come out and make a public apology, you know, not even online, apo- man, I feel make a public apology for what he's saying, you know, because okay. essentially what he's saying is that, yo, he, he he's leaving his kids to suffer. That is his reason behind his entire paragraph. He might have been kidnapped for stuff. So, my actually know that simply reply say, first of all, Chester has been suffering for the better part of ever since he's been with us. But you think he left his kids to suffer? You sure, sure you want to. <laughs> Yo, Chester, Chester absorbed his sister's assault. The real um, re- for him, sister, because he couldn't help. And psychologically, that shit fucked with him too. I'm yeah. gonna know why people like, don't play that shit. Like, yo, it's one thing when they can't help somebody you love in a den. It's just with all your money, all your resources, you can't stop them from suffer or hurt. That shit does fuck with you too. I don't know why people believe that people make out a stone or fucking something. Blood flow through me too. Not because what well, I'm coming out of a vagina. Or not. Why, why people do the fucking sex with the way I'm looking at things? I'm just saying. So right. uh, just because he didn't get fucked, just because he didn't get fucked, don't mean to, you know, her sexual assault scarred him too. So, 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 pe- and then people, and then when the man come up with the story of why he got the two um, flame tattoos and put it, put, like the two sleeve them, the man say, oh, it was a way to protect my skin from my father from beating me. Brother man, when I when I listen and and watch that interview, I just me just start crying. I'm mean, not care who wants it. I cried like a bitch. Exactly. Who gives a damn, sir? God, like a big brother, yeah, yo. Family, yeah, you man, you know. I mean, I'm not certain fucking people that, yo, why not believe some man make out a stone or, you know, we don't feel the same way when, when, when we're children, them looking our eye and you think we said the same sweet words like the, the mother said to the daughter. Yeah, so, we don't, don't just know? feel hungry. Just make fucking like. No, 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 Dario, no, no, Dario, no. Hold on, no. We're not just a bank account and something with two stones and a sword. Because you can hear somebody say some bullshit like, oh, I didn't know fathers could... could." I'm like, what? Could do what? <laughs> no, like, like, be sensitive. Like, oh my God, I didn't know fathers would think that way or fathers were like this. <laughs> so a man with five daughters. Um... You know, I think he has to somewhat psychologically readjust himself. He could be a gangster, beat man a road and unbeat. Because when it comes to his daughters, he is vulnerable. Because as much as they love him, they are the same ones who can break him heart. I don't know why people don't play that shit so much. When a man care about him pitting in her and a real man, you know. That's why I'm um, assassinating a song with this very respect. He says, as long as she's happy, I'm not care about nothing. As long as my baby have something, Almighty Father, may I pray to the eye, never let my little baby cry. That shit moved me to my core the first time I hear that song. God, people don't play the sacrifice of a father. I get it. Mothers have sometimes, yeah, I'm not tell a lie. You fuck a little idiot boy who can't, I'm dead or road or, you know, God forgive the, the circumstances. But society really don't play what 
you do to men when, and believe that this also ties into the whole mental issue thing. So we're yeah. back on top again, gentlemen. But so, and believe that or not, when it comes to mental issues, a men men suffer more mental issues than women. Fuck up, dog. Just don't talk about it. Just don't talk about it. And, and, and again, again or so no, said again, speaks, speaks again, for again, it goes back to controversial topics by popular demand. What we have been saying since the start of this thing, we don't say. Th first of all, first of all, we don't care who you be. If a man ever make a TikTok and talk about him problems, instantly I'm going to find it weird. Well, I don't know why I'm going to find it weird. Just the whole, con not even the, the situation, but the first comment I'm going to make is like, yo. You want to like talk about this in private because we men, we don't do that public shit. When we are out in public, I tell people, say, yo, you know, my father died and yeah, I lost my arm, but I'm still, I'm eating, right? No, like, bro, you don't need to know that. Like, right, really? Like, you, talk about it, you, have, you have to speak about it in a certain way. Like, yeah, my daddy wasn't there, but I made it. I'm okay. Hold Whatever. On, I pulled a tooth. Okay. That shit that's mad it. painful. That's it. Who the fuck cares? No one cares. Did, did you did you hear it? Did you want to say nothing? There was silence. That's how we think in general. I'm just being honest. I hear it. But, and, and the thing is that. No, if it was a female. Oh my God. Oh my God, are you okay? Does it hurt? Is your face swollen? Oh my God. Why didn't you call me? I we are not. You from the dentist. One of the so one dose the so. like again, and I put and I pulled this shit months ago. Still silence. You get it yet? I'm, I'm not oh, no, oh, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. But you know exactly, but you know exactly what you can say to make people talk. Oh, you know, I don't, I don't, I just came off the road, just ran over two girls and chopped off their heads. You, you know, usual stuff. Instant, everybody saw look for you and say, yo, what or, did this thing I just say? I c this woman wouldn't give me her number, so I called her a bitch. You did what? <laughs> <laughs> or I kicked my cat. Interesting choice of work, my boy. <laughs> Interesting choice no, of work. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to throw shit at Kurt Zuma. I actually like him as a defender. No, possible for you some of the double red cat. Um, is it? It Yo, is possible, but you know, but you, 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 you have another funniest thing. Oh, double red card. Do you have any soda in your fridge? No, you want you want you want make up for last times. You want make up for last. Time? Remember that comment you made, Negro. You want make up for last times. Double red card. Do you have soda in your fridge? <laughs> okay, all right. Catch me this, so we have to go home for that one day. So all right, all right, all right. I take you up on that challenge. God damn it, I take you up on that challenge. But and I'm not talking I'm, about when you when you clear it out, then come show us. Yeah, man. You can put the soda like on the counter or some shit. Yo, no problem. Or behind the no. stove. Uh, yo, boy, no that, this, that cat kick comment is going to be used and abused so much. There's a lot of food in the fridge, but not a lot of soda. So no problem. I got you. I'm not talking about a lot of soda. I'm talking about your specific. What's it again? Seven Up or Mountain Dew? Not a dang thing. Or Coca Cola. What is, what's, what is it you drink? Use a sprite and mondi, but anyways, moving on. <laughs> sprite and mondi, okay. She got one, right? Yo, I, I, yo, I'm not, yo, I'm not going to lie. Yo, humans are scary, defensive of animals, and like, I, 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 I get it, but yo, the way the, the the overboard nature of it, like, bro, it is very scary. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Like I no, I understand. Like I get it to an extent, but bro, you know, I just realized something. What? When Bradshaw mentioned the thing about the toothache, about removing the tooth. First of all, I had a tooth that he needed that he needs to take out for the longest while, but he refuses to do so because it, he's afraid of the pain. I just call him a bitch. Yes. Well, I mean, get it. That's not right. Well, I mean. I've had toothaches before. I just I had a teeth that was cracked because of rugby, and I in and an what do you call it? The my wisdom tooth was grown diagonally, cracked another tooth, 
So I had to take out the wisdom teeth and the, the one in front of the tooth in front of it. Wisdom tooth and the one in front of it. Thing is that I was scared as a bitch, but I had to get it removed. Yep. And I had to do all three on my own. Ouch. Because I'm an adult. Your pocket hurting. I can feel your pocket a okay. ball like it, bossy. Yeah, 40,000. Oh, spank me. Oh, that hat. Down the hat. Hmm. Look, look, in 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 Roland, do you know what it feels like to be driving near what four miles in traffic and your jaw you want to punch yourself so hard the jaw that you know you might actually hit out a few more teeth just to get a little relief? But, but you it would be worth it against it. Your common sense literally unclench your fist. Yes. So oh, trust me, yeah. I know how it feels. Hey, hey, not hey, oh, not Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, when, when, not to remember which one, but one of them started growing, growing on each other till it became a double giant. And bruh, when I say yo, this left side it was completely open, brother man. You know what? Um, you know, you no, know, uh, but no, you know what? You know what my dumb ass did, and even though I knew it was wrong, there was just something about it that just felt relieving to me. The whole that was bloody night, you know, but you can't wash it out. Me no. I'm not even saying oh, are the good taste history in my use are the, the burning sensation one. So me you know, I got, I got, got yo. When I say yo, when I say yo, I feel I say yo, I have a bubble in at the in at the tooth, bruh. When I spit out that, I literally feel my, the, my mouth a pulse it a boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So so now my my father now, the man comes and see the, the, the excess, the, the little spot of blood. And I must say yo, we see it, we see it. The man said, Jesus Christ, the boy I use this tarim for a double joint. You know what I'm saying? Yo, doctor said me, the man said, well, you have two methods to do this. You can stay awake or you can be knocked out. Which one? I said, yo, morphine. Morphine. Who the hell has morphine? What do you mean? Yo. Knock me out, son. Knock me out. Yo. Give me all the morphine. Big man. Yo, yo give yeah. me a second. I don't care what nobody wants to say. Right. Once I, once I can't feel it, I'll be safe. <laughs> Yo, tell her this. Hold on, let me tell her this. Listen to me. I, I when, when I had the tooth removed up here, them say, yeah, you know that the cocky and the thing on them, them juke and the jaw with? The, um, the doctor was like, Yo, we give out a lot of free, um, like say, Nova, Nova King, it's called. <laughs> Nova King. Um, the injection is called Nova King, but it's a form of coke. Nobody tell you, a coke, I'm juke and the jaw, right? It's, it's, so yeah, it's cocaine. If, if, no, so, so for all of you, oh my God, I would never do coke. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. <laughs> yes, you have. You have been you a have really been, you've, been an you, a, you've been an accomplice in the drug trade. <laughs> trying to pass a second. And for those of you who want to know what coke does to you, the same thing it does to your jaw. So you've done coke. I know, right? Yes. When you wonderful, went to the dentist, you 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 feelings. Back up. Wonderful I'm just feelings. saying. No, no, I'm just saying. You feel me? So she 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 shot me in the jaw like like nine times. She's like, yeah, we we, we give them free. And she said, I want it numb. You're not really feel a joke no more. You just feel like metal or touch it. Just feel like your gum does. Move yeah, your the jaw. First two, we don't feel anymore. Yeah, so she, she, she shot me up. Good, good, good. And even after nine shots, I still felt a little pain. You feel me? So you still feel pain through that shit. Nine yeah. shots. What do you that mean? Means still. Nerves, that means it was, it, was, it was affecting your nerves then. Yeah, man. Yo, the teeth had to be broken into three pieces to be removed. Mine was broken in two. Three. Oh, Lord. And yeah. um, I tell you, there's a, way, there's a way to replace it, but I'm not that money there right now. And uh, <laughs> The dentist laughed at me because I came in there 
with a rugby ball. When I was taking up the first, the, the first cracked one, I was cracked in a rugby match like mm-hmm. two years prior. She's like, so you're a big, strong rugby man and you're afraid of a needle? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I am a bitch when I see a needle. Hey, I'm I said right there. Say it, bro. Hey. Hey, brother. If, if, if hey. Goku can be afraid yeah. of a needle, so can I. Hey, brother. Oh. Hey. Me have, I have, I have, uh, I think, four tooth teeth when I have to remove them. And I tell that right, to this day, because I know me have to do it, still I shit myself, but I say, yo, I just ask. I thought you removed them already. No, I still not get a chance to do it because I say, who only person who me tell you, say, go on my youth, I know me not get to do it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But when I do do it, yo, first thing I ask me, I say, yo, what is the knockout drug we shall be using today? If they say morphine, I say, yo, I will get my night. What? Brother, man. Here's that. If you come, <laughs> yo, to, if you come to my place, yo, you can go to Duane right Holano, Duane mm-hmm. Park Health Center, will remove the tooth for free. I, I, I will oh. consider it. Yo, brother, you see when this hand was broken? Yo, that, yo, the doctor gave me one, one, one dose of morphine. The man realized I'm still awake. The man said, Give him my extra three, man. We need him out, man. We need him out, brother, man. When we say, oh, we go out like a kite. When we wake up back, we want to see cash, but man, I say, oh, see? Come on. Yo, yo. Can I tell you? If, I wish you were one of the wickedest. I, I think, hold on there. When, when you asleep, you know, said to me, I never know this was possible. Apart from carbon dioxide, enough oxygen can knock you out. Yeah. Enough air can knock you out. If you breathe in, enough is being pumped in, into your lungs. You will get knocked out. That's why the whole. And you think you would wake up, right? It's just air. Wrong. Somehow it actually keeps you down. Once you're down, them can split you open. It makes and... you so heavy and numb. You don't feel nothing. And I think probably that part kind of kind of help reach you is after like you, you, you wake up after the surgery and them are wheel you're going to you know ear um the, the um. The waiting area, and then you go into the water, and then you like, and then you find a wake up, and you feel a bug appeared all over. That, that's another thing we used to wonder. How you get out, say you get out surgery panel, say a broke finger, but when you wake up, your whole body in a pain. Yeah, man. The nerves, the nerves, the nerves were hurt. The whole body, I mean, from your toe come all the way up, your shoulder, your legs, everything in a pain, your neck, and not just your finger, then get fucked. I used to wonder how. You touch one part and all the nerves are inter- interconnected. Oh my God. You mess with yeah. one, you mess with all, basically. Yeah. The thing is that you feel the pain, not them. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. Yo, Yo. It's a good thing that it's a good thing the internal side of your body can literally when it's sending messages. Yo, you can imagine if your internal body actually spoke to you when it was sending messages. <laughs> no, 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 better yet, Drunk. better yet. Better yet. If the internal part of your body literally took after everything that was about your personality, yo, Bradshaw would be having some hella conversation with his brain. <laughs> Nigga! Sir, sir, <laughs> you know, I wish I could do something like a SpongeBob, though. My brain would be like, yo, we are if fucked. I could go in, I, I like an avatar, though, where him just breathe in and release certain shit out of your system. Brother, man, is that me could psychologically purge certain bad behavior out of me? Oh my God, sir! Ten years—that's all I need. Ten solid years. I met my network on every fucking thing. What? Yeah, I'm telling you something. I'm telling you this, sir. We are our biggest opponent. Not not the world, not racism, not a fuck. We are our main enemy. And I'm saying this from a very honest place. Do you many opportunities I've watched, including myself. Man get and fuck it up. Me know man make nationals and because of self um what's that word I'm calling again? Esteem. Self hatred. No, not self hatred. When 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 you destroy your own self, you mm-hmm. finally achieve what you aim for, and instead of you go up, you literally don't move. A fellow rugby man with me, you know, get get go go to for, for national and man joke it out. Choke it out. Well, so you say reach. Reach your pinnacle. No, no, no. I'm not say him the reach. The man, man good and all, but you know when you don't believe you deserve what I reach you, 
Yeah. Start destroy yourself. You start to certain fuck up things we never normally do. Yep. You don't know why you do it. Them kind of things that we are talking about. And 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 go back into mental health again. I mean, keep off your draw this shit back into me. What on it? You know, say I will keep this. I will keep throwing this shit off the rails. <laughs> Yo, somebody help me, bro. Somebody help me, bro. Check it. <laughs> oh. CTJ. No CTJ, man. CTJ off record kill. <laughs> Anywho, the mental. Yeah, may I be honest with you, man? Mental health, it's something that it bothers me because as soon as you say that to somebody nowadays, something wrong with you. Yep. Something wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with me. You, you start going to self self um defense. Yes. You're gonna defend somebody hate you and sometimes I'm gonna be honest with you. Years ago, a friend of mine said something that was changing and me, me couldn't see it until years later. You understand me? So, self-awareness is one thing that people need to remember, be realistic with. I hate that it, it comes it come out of this context where, oh, oh, yeah, try some an idiot. Or, 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 or my degree bigger, blah, blah, blah. because you have degree, I mean, I have degree. That you try to say, no, please, please. Them live like ignorance they need for dead. People need to kill them, live like ignorance there. This is why the black race can't go away. You understand me? How you gonna move forward when every every form of criticism, whether it be good, whether it be bad, a bad man, a man, bad man, you know, a pussy that boy, they're a pussy. What kind of seriously? Then how will you ever grow? How you will all right, better yet. How will you test accurately if what you are the right or wrong? Hmm? If nobody can give feedback, good or bad, everybody are better. Everybody, I hate everybody people ask for feedback and then don't like it. Yo, now, how, this, um, how, how how much do you um rate me as a rugby player? Like like a prop forward? Oh man, well you're very soft. You don't run very hard. I mean, brother, when the Toronto Wolf came out here, I literally asked the coach, and I say yo, like as a as a young player, like when I'm gonna tell me straight up, say yo. I have this, like, I have the ability, but me too soft. And him say it's not about my toughness; it's about up here, so. Come on, tell me, say, yo, yeah, yeah, double think yourself, yeah, double think what you should do when you should just do it. And it's something that has consistently happened to me, cause because, because I might dumb as overthink myself on the field. I'ma just take it in stride. Me not tell like some, yo, me not tell, tell like some my rugby man them who supposedly better than me, where. As well, soon as you push a that one thing about them, they start get all defensive. Yes. Well, I know. You see, you see, there's a line I'm use when people, my wife don't like me use. Catch say it's offensive. Mister, no, it's been real. You see, when I ask a grown man something and him start behave like a child, I say, excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I was talking to a grown fucking adult. So, you want to try that again? The last time I check, you're grown. Why the hell are you acting like a fucking child? That does nothing for the argument. Wow, wow, wow. You, you throw a tantrum. Oh, mommy, I got to back down and go, oh, oh my God, she's freaking out. Oh, you know what? Don't we? We are wrong. You know what? You know what? We are wrong. We are wrong. No. No. Yo, yo is, it, is it wrong? Yo, is it wrong? Like, I can just imagine, yo, that being said between you and Darius just there, like, I really want to punch this bitch, but I can't. <laughs> I, would, I would laugh. Yo, honestly, like, like, I, like like, like, us, like, us, I just people. think that if we are together, roll away, yeah, you know. and Dario gets so upset, yeah. Dario is just going to have that face that just says, I want to murder this person, but I physically don't know if I can right now. And the worst part is, worst part is Dario knows that none of us are going to stop him. We're just going to watch. Me especially. Yeah, I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this, right? I wish you all were here. I would train you in martial arts for free. And if any of don't reach black belt, me have all right for broken up, right? So unfair. Oh, by the way, no matter what happened, I'm always, I'm, 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 I'm forever a black belt. 
that that will never change, no matter what. Which means I have the power to grade people. I'm going to turn you into martial artists. I need to teach. I need to teach. Y'all need to know for this tribe on herself. In a good way. In a good way. In a good way. A healthy yo, way. Yo, Ratcha could literally be at every anime master ever. You must become strong, but first you must die. <laughs> What? Am I wrong though? That's literally every anime master ever. For, for sir, you to reach your potential, you must die. Sir, I am happy for next month for one main reason. My daughter turns three. She's mine. <laughs> she's <laughs> mine. Oh my God, she's mine. You know how long I'm away for next month? Oh my God, her training starts. <laughs> Yo, yo, her theme song is Let's Get Down to Business. <laughs> yo. I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Right, the word of Darius. Me and Darius just like here. Yeah, yeah, he's joking. Underneath the choir. Yeah, he's sure. not. <laughs> Somewhat. Somewhat. Anyway, let's go back to the original story for the mental health thing. Uh, the young man who killed both his parents. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think, if I remember... Well, the nicest, softest, genuinely good people you'll ever... Meet. Yet he was being, I would say, abused or mistreated for mistreated. 23, 24 years. Mistreated. Abused. Mistreated mostly, mistreated mostly, verbally abused by his father and his mother just stood there and watched, essentially. And emotionally. Yeah. His mom just being a yes man, basically. Yo, the, yo, the, yo, I said, I, I said this out loud and I think I, I, I think I broke someone's heart because she was close to him. I said, yo, this man, I said, yo, he literally killed his mom for like, literally collateral damage, bruh. My no, girl. but it's similar to when um, the school shooters shoot up the school, they kill the bullies. And everyone else who just didn't do anything to help. Yo, quick question. Yo, quick question. Quick question. I, well, I'm a quick question. Like, genuinely, I, I was reading this book once. Why is it that in every scenario when someone is bullied and they come back and kill said bully, society thinks that, oh, it's all so wrong. But then you go through every definition of saying why the were bullied in the first place. Like, like you see, you see, you see, you see, same thing what Bradshaw talked about. Society paints this picture I talk about bullying is wrong. Yet you also just watch the person get bullied anyway. But as soon as them decide, say, yo, I'm built different. I want to kill all of you. That's when it's a problem. Interesting. Oh, yes, hello, Dario. Okay. So, <laughs> I might be red carded for this, but here we go. Again, they say bullying is wrong, but when you come back and kill the bullies, you're a bad person. However, when 9 11 happened and they went back and attacked because of 9 11, it, it wasn't a bad thing. Fear. I'm going to be honest with you. I that, know. What that, I, I, that, I, I, that, wasn't, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I, like, I thought a little. I know, right? Nice see him, sir. I, I, yo, I was uh, hoping yo, that. I have a feeling that wasn't exactly what he wanted to say at first, but. No, right? I know, right? You might have gone one already. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, um, yeah, um, um, back on, back on the issue, right? Uh, mental health, right? Yeah. I just find it. I find it unfair, you know, where the more gone so feel long as well. Sorry, but um this is ridiculous because society I confuse me because one hand you say you want to change and you want society to move forward and the thing that will move society forward. It's not being invested in the right level. Up 
ਗੱਲ ਦੱਸ ਸੰਤੀ ਬੋਲਣ ਚਾਹ ਰਹੇ ਨਾ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੇ ਇਨਸੈਂਸ ਡੋਲਿਸ਼ ਆਫ ਫੋਰ ਫਾਰਮ ਬੇਬੀ ਫਾਰਮ ਦੀ ਐਨ ਐਸਟਿੰਗ do you know how that could a save certain a man from the lose them minor you know murder people and you understand me i try to say about people look on it one way when a man invest 18 years of him life i take care of two three people when when one or two, or none of them on a few one and then after 18 years or better yet never yet say he finally figures it out somehow somebody prick him finger and make him know say she that do this or whatever did that if he can prove without a reasonable doubt how how do you and again this isn't taught this isn't this isn't fed to people in a high school college none of that if you want to hear feet but think about this if this was being pumped into the society a long time we would be more psychologically equipped for certain fuckery we don't we don't we don't know how to, we don't know how to analyze situation we don't know how to take criticism no more you understand me when many and many so reason man understand say your certain lines never cross you know cross certain line nowadays men are so flipping emotional shot upon the top of the vice like that shit supposed to intimidate a real man emotional response you know woman in a argument them don't know the argument them running in one one baby is a superhero you understand me them emotional shit there and most of these people are suffering from from mental issues where could have been prevented <clears throat> as a part was sad boy all of this a lot of the issues could have been prevented but it's a pride but I said the pride before the fall well pride of a fall pride pride and then this shit have to stop because and somebody made a comment and i thought about it too i want my daughter to get married one day and somehow find a suitable partner hopefully she find love afterwards you understand <laughs> suitable man a man who level set level headed and knows uh, he has responsibilities and priorities prioritize and if them this have have kids go for pro but at the same time the pickings are slim too for a good man too i know right can't believe me to say that but i'm remember i know as a father me have to take into consideration the kind of man who you know so what bringing these are things a woman don't really think about like that oh he's cute he sounds so intelligent i like that as a father real man no say you give your raise a daughter if you have certain morals and standards and certain and she says she want to take this man this man I take her up serious say want her for be my wife you have in, you have investigate them thing there too meet the father meet the parents them shit there because believe it or not psychologically as much as people want believe say yo yes a man can grow past him parents him certain certain way of thinking you know him grow out of that but don't be a body fool you 19 to 20 years of the same rhetoric getting said over and over and over and over and over again in your head you don't think so that shit do impact you some way somehow <clears throat> you know some that try say and people don't play that shit say oh is not a men- mental issues don't don't also imp- yo you might say um clean people say, mad mad people not clean clothes where did that line came from mad people in a clean clothes where did that line origin from mentally ill people mentally ill people who yep. dress clean pay bills but sick as fuck sick as fuck they are not some people and then and them drive car them 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 dress nice and people people they in the outside and yeah them a kill them family inside of the house you hear me whether physically kill verbally kill you understand me emotionally all these Emotion- all the others 
all man are fucked, and believe me, this shit happens. You have a man like every night, him and him, him and him. And my feel is, 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 I think him psychological syndrome. I'm saying wrong with him because this man cost this woman, cost her out, and after that, don't cost it, don't fuck it. That's how he gets hard. You must have a you must have a Ad, I'm sorry. But that guy, he must have a demo, he must have denigrated her so bad. We have a mutual colleague like that, sir. Roger, I pause himself a while ago. <laughs> you just couldn't help yourself, could you? No, he when he said it, he just reminded me of the of the mutual colleague. Alright, yeah, man. <laughs> Damn. But anyway, well, I think we should wrap up because it's been over an hour now. I'll pass an hour. Oh, I'm going to comb up my beard. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you stuck with us this long, I want to say thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, please remember to hit the like button. It really does help us out. And subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe. You know you want to. And hit the bell notification so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. We do upload weekly, sometimes twice a week. So with that, stay safe, stay awesome, and we will see you again next week.